383 cubic inches and fed by a four-barrel carburetor. And all the action up here is funneled to the rear wheels via a four-speed manual transmission. Now, if you think this 1970-watt Dodge Challenger is hot, <laughs> you're right. But it offers more than just a pile of muscle. The Dodge boys put a lot of engineering know-how into this one, and it paid off in just about every department. Our driver twisted this Challenger every way but loose, and it looked like this. money and insurance premiums that are out of sight, the curtain could be falling on the supercar era. But nonetheless, they're still pure fun. And this Dodge Challenger has to be a top contender for Pony Car of the Year. It looks an awfully lot like last year's model. But then, what's wrong with that? In most Pony Cars, this 383 engine would cause heavy characteristics in the nose. But the Challenger is built to match the output of the bigger engines. In fact, with the 340 engine up front, the handling difference is hardly noticeable. When we brought our pony up to the line, it was happy time. And our speedometer found 30 miles an hour in 2.8 seconds. That Hurst shifter was so smooth, we thought it was mounted in butter. On our second run, we nailed 45 in 4.7. the clutch on our third time out of the hole, those big rubber donuts bit hard into the asphalt, and that eight-fisted screamer had us to 70 miles an hour in eight seconds flat. Our best shift point was around 5,600 RPMs. The car not only came out of the hole like its tail was on fire, but it negotiated the pylon course with comparative ease. After the first run, we shortened the distance between the cones by 10 feet and the Challenger still pushed through at 50 miles an hour. Rebound, as well as recovery, were excellent. Braking in our test car left quite a bit to be desired. At 30 miles an hour, it took 49 feet to stop. We had power-assisted discs up front with 10-inch drums in the rear. From 50 miles an hour, it took 86 feet to grind to a halt. The brakes pulled to the right, and noticeably so on high-speed stops. After five consecutive 70-mile-an-hour panic stops, heat buildup was intense. The pedal faded. This stop took 211 feet. What it lacked in the braking department, it made up in cornering. This little pony was beautiful in the turns. Our driver ran it hard and deep into the pockets. And with that 383 cubic incher up front, he brought it through in a four-wheel drift with power on. This pony twisted through the corners on unequal length A-arms, longitudinal torsion bars, tubular shocks, and an anti-sway bar. In high-speed turns and with all the slack out of the suspension, body lean was excessive, but it didn't affect roadability. The 71 Challenger is one of the best pony cars we've tackled yet. Changes on the surface were few. However, underneath, there were several. And all for the best.